Hey guys, it's SirSpade4, and I'm back with another Destiny Guide, and I'm here to show you how to farm some of the best special weapons in the game very easily. There are a few things I'm assuming you've already done, and that is you own Season of the Splicer, and that you've completed the Path of the Splicer questline. Over at the helm at the Prismatic Recaster, where you can focus Umbral Ingrams, the Season of the Splicer page has the main Ingram you're going to want to farm. That Ingram is the Shock Trooper, but if you don't have it, you're going to have to complete 50 Lost Sectors to unlock it. If you want to earn some fast high stat exotics while you do that, watch my tips video for Legendary Lost Sectors, link in the description. When you have the Ingram unlocked, you can farm the Cartesian Coordinate Fusion Rifle and the Retro Futurist Shotgun. To make farming easier, check the Splicer Servitor and check the upgrade page for the shortcut upgrades on the left side. If you have the decrypted data, upgrade it fully. I recommend doing so. It will make running these expunged missions a lot faster. Check your inventory for corrupted key codes. That's what you're going to need to get the currency to farm the engrams. If you have one, you're going to want to head over to Europa and launch the expunged Taurus mission. But make sure it's the corrupted version and not the regular one. If you bought the shortcut upgrades, you can activate these green buttons to skip large portions of the mission. Here you can skip the majority of the intro section. For the hunters who know how to do it, I recommend world landscaping to get through these missions as fast as possible. Again, if you have the upgrades, you're going to activate it here, and that will let you skip the first area by using this launcher here, and it'll send you straight to the second area. The cheese in this mission that everyone farming it needs to know is how to skip the second area by jumping over the wall. On Hunter, you'll need Stompies and Triple Jump. You're going to want to jump onto these pillars right here, and then jump onto this pillar up here. Then you're going to want to jump over into the hole in the wall over here, but finish off with the Sword Swing so you'll make it. On Titan, you're going to want Lion Rampants, but it isn't required to do this step. You're going to come to the left side instead of the right like on Hunter. You're going to want to jump towards this pillar onto this ledge right here, then jump to the side ledge right here and then you're just going to want to jump straight to the hole in the wall. Warlocks are going to want to use transversive steps. They can make either of the jumps the Hunter or Titan can make. You can do whatever you find easier, but if you want to do something more advanced, you can activate Heat Rise in the middle of that launch pad and do the Lament Sword Swing to skip climbing up the pillar. Once you get past the wall, you're going to want to go through this tunnel on the left side and you'll skip past this wall here. Then you're going to want to go straight to the boss, which will be over here, and you're going to need to activate the Conflux here to summon. Once you finish the mission, you'll get 100 Parallax after killing the boss. Then head over to the chest and use the Corrupted Key Code and open it and you'll get 55 Decrypted Data. There is a bonus for those who do own Season of the Lost. You guys will earn Parallax Trajectory as well as Decrypted Data, so you guys can get the Fractithis Shotgun. If you don't have corrupted key codes, they drop from literally everything in the game. Crucible matches, kills, strikes, you just uh, have to get lucky and get them to drop. For the people who don't know what roles to look for on these guns, I'll give you my take for what the best PvE and PvP roles are on these guns. On the Cartesian coordinate for PvP, you're going to want to look for Particle Repeater, Under Pressure, and High Impact Reserves with a Stability Masterwork. For PvE, you're going to want to get Accelerated Coils, probably lead from gold, and definitely Vorpal Weapon, and with a Charge Time Masterwork. For Retro Futurist, you're going to want to have Full Choke, Assault Mag, Quick Draw, and Snapshot, but you'll be fine with a Rifled Barrel or Accurized Rounds on either, and with a Range Masterwork. Although this gun isn't very stellar in PvE, if you still don't have anything better, I would recommend Assault Mag, Feeding Frenzy, and Trench Barrel. And for the Season of the Lost owners, the Fractathist is going to have basically the same role as the Retro Futurist. Full Choke, Assault Mag, Quick Draw, Opening Shot. And of course being fun with Rifled Barrel or Accurized Rounds. And then top it off with the Range Masterwork. Alright, that should cover it. Like, comment, and subscribe if I helped you out.